My name is Afolabi Adela. I'm here to take you nutrition and stress management this afternoon. Nutrition and stress management, first code is HDM404. Nutrition is the science that interprets the nutrients and other substance present in food in relation to maintenance, growth, reproduction, health, and disease of an organism. The process involves food intake, absorption, stimulation, biosynthesis, catabolism, and nutrition. What this simply means is that nutrition interprets the nutrients we, we take in, into our body system. You know, for, for, for metabolic activity to take place in our system, we need to take some certain uh, food substances. And that food substances contain it is these nutrients that will be metabolized, that, we, that our body will use at the end of the day for several activities. So we now move to importance of nutrition. Please, yeah, yeah, this, uh, particular, this uh, nutrition is not is not correct. Please, you can help me correct it. So important nutrition. So we, all, we, know, we need to know the importance of nutrition in our body system. What are the importance? So now nutrition and physical activity are major factors leading to a healthy lifestyle. What this simply means is that nutrition is a factor that is responsible for a healthy, a healthy lifestyle. Diet can help to reach and maintain a healthy weight, reduce risk and chronic diseases, such as heart diseases, and, and I don't want to promote overall. Who is taking test on the education? Dimension of health and wellness. This is also another I factor mean, that needs to be put into consideration. of nutrition. We have to dimension of health and wellness. Wellness is being in good physical mental health and physical health together. That is it is the mental cycle and the physical appearance. Both of them are linked together. Problem is that it's problem. So, at the same time, improving physical health can also benefit mental health. Uh, your class One. is uh, for yes, five twenty. Okay, you share your mic here, man. Uh, environment. Yeah. All right, sorry. but I don't but have your mic here. and simulating environment supports well-being. Two, ability to cope effectively with life and creating satisfying relationships. Financial, that is, satisfaction with present and future financial state. Intellectual. Yeah, well, recognition of creativity of creative ability and finding ways to expand the scope of it. <laughs> Occupational satisfaction and enrichment from one's work. Then the sixth uh, factor is uh, uh, 
physical activity at the right time, healthy food and sleep at the appropriate time. Expanding the sense of purpose in life. Number eight, and a well developed purpose. Then we will talk about uh, cardiovascular diseases. Cardiovascular disease is a class of disease that all heart or blood levels. You know what we just done for is find wellness and health. What is wellness and health? So we we not we also have the dimension of wellness and health. So now we are still the associated and cardiovascular diseases are one of the associated diseases. So cardiovascular disease include coronary heart disease such as angina and myocardial infection known as heart attack. Others are stroke, heart failure, congenital heart disease, rheumatic heart disease, and venous thrombosis. So how, how can we prevent cardiovascular diseases? Are they preventable? Are they treatable? So in this aspect, you'll be able to know whether they are preventable or whether or they are treatable. Close to 90% of cardiovascular disease may be preventable if established risk factors are avoided. That is to say, 90% are preventable, provided the risk factor are avoided. We will soon go to the risk factor of those cardiovascular disease as well. Measures to prevent cardiovascular disease include such a person smoke. That is to say, smoking reduces the risk to about 36 cents. Then, a low fat. Low sugar, high fiber, including whole grains and fruits and vegetables. You know, this is the nutrient aspect of it. What the food we we take in? That is, the food should be of low fat, low sugar, but high in fiber. And grains and fruit and vegetable as well. Uh, at least two hours to thirty two hours and thirty minutes of moderate exercise is recommended per week. So if if one is able to be doing this, at least if, if you're exercising the body, so two to so, so two and two hundred and thirty minutes in a week, so it's likely to be free cardiovascular diseases. Then limit alcohol consumption. Lower blood pressure through medication. It's it's obvious. At times we tend to rise, or we can lower the blood pressure through certain medication. So if we're able to do this, it will not be at risk of cardiovascular diseases. Then, is this body fat if obese? 
then we then we use this as well, and we use our anti-diabetic medication. Let us now go to let's look into management of cardiovascular disease. We'll be able to establish that cardiovascular are preventable. Then we want to know now whether they are also treatable. If we are not able to prevent it, then can we treat it? Is it a death sentence or is it a treatable disease? Cardiovascular disease is a treatable disease with initial treatment. Primary focus on diet and lifestyle intervention. We can also make use of drugs and surgery as well. Physical fitness. Physical fitness is a state of health and well-being. More specifically, the ability to perform activities and sports. Sport fitness is generally achieved through proper nutrition, moderate physical exercise rest. component of physical fitness Co component of physical fitness for consideration are one muscular strength this is the ability to move an object it is power that actually helps to lift and carry most, uh, especially heavy uh, objects. Without muscular strength, the body will be weak and unable to keep up with the demand or responsibility placed on it. Muscular strength will increase by training. That is, if, if we train regularly, it can increase a muscular. Because muscular is needed in our day to day activity. And we need to build it up gradually by important to overlook flexibility helps the muscles and joints not to grow stiff by not restricting movement flexibility flexibility ensures body movement through its entire range of motion without stiffness or pain. Then the third one, body part of the body. That is the, the amount of deposited fat. You know, at times when we have too much uh, deposited fat in our body system, it's it's a kind of uh, factor. So people have uh, um, be a blockage to the blood to the blood veins and as a result of that there will be insufficient of, of blood to the heart body fat composition if you equal to the amount of fat in the body system Body fat composition fitness varies from male to female. That is, mammals have a body fat composition lower than 17%. Why that of a woman must be lower than 24%? Then we talk of uh, muscular endurance. 
Muscular endurance is the ability of the muscle to perform contraction for extended period of time. Rather than just lifting something for a few seconds, the muscle are used for minutes. This can also be improved by training. Then we'll go to cardiovascular endurance. That is to keep much of exercise like running, swimming, jogging, and cycling. This form of test for cardiovascular system, such as lungs and heart, to work for extended time. That is, if we if we imbibe this culture, the culture of exercising our body, food running, swimming, jogging, and cycling. Forces our cardiovascular system, such as our lungs and art to work for extended period of time. So, by so doing, today, we are talking now about nutrition. So when next we need to be talking on stress management. So I would like to give you a kind of summary of what we'll be able to talk as far as today's course is concerned. Nutrition is the science that interprets the nutrients and other substances present in food in relation to maintenance, growth, reproduction, health, and disease of an organism. From these uh, simple definitions, we can we can be able to deduce that nutrition. Like like water makes life, nutrition also makes life. So these are the fundamentals. The process involves food intake, absorption, accumulation, biosynthesis, catabolism, and excretion. These are the processes. Of nutrition. For nutrition to take place, there must be food intake. Absorption. There must be accumulation. Biosynthesis. Catabolism. Nutrition. Then we will not talk about the importance of nutrition. What is the importance of nutrition to the body system? The this time around, we are talking of good nutrition. Well, we may also have bad nutrition at times. Because if a food substance is contaminated, that one is automatically a bad nutrition if somebody eats such a food substance. So, so we are now talking of good nutrition and physical activity. Are uh, uh, the two major factors 
leading to a healthy lifestyle. Diet can help to reach and maintain a healthy weight, reduce risk of chronic disease, such as heart disease and cancer, and promote overall health. Dimension of health and wellness. You know, according to the health is the absence of, of illness, injury, or disease. Health is also part of our good physical and mental ability. So, mental health and physical health are linked together. Pro problems in one area can impact the other. At the same time, improving physical health can also benefit mental health and vice versa. It is, however, important to make healthy choice for physical and mental well-being. So what are the dimensions of health and wellness? The dimension includes one, environment, two, emotional, three, financial, four, intellectual, five, occupational, six, physical, seven, spiritual, eight, social. These are some of the dimensions of health and wellness. So, you know, all these dimensions, they have one role or the other to play on our health and wellness. Before we can be able to conclude, or maybe uh, a particular person is, is in, in good health, these are the dimensions. Talk about cardiovascular disease. Is a class of that involves the heart or blood vessels. That is to say, anytime you hear cardiovascular disease, one thing that should strike your mind is we are talking about heart or blood vessels. You know what they say? Somebody has a cardiac arrest. So when you are talking of cardiovascular disease, you are talking of disease of the heart, such as angina, a myocardial infarction, which is also known as heart attack. Others are stroke, heart failure, congenital heart disease. And venous These are all. These are all. Then we want to that the vascular close to ninety percent of that the vascular disease may be preventable if established this. Include smoking, low fat, low sugar, high fiber, including what drinks, vegetables, and food. So, so then, cardiovascular disease. Who was who are dying? So, if you must get out of that, 
For a non smoker. And we're also talking about exercising our body at least two hours a week. Is it fast? If you do, that means we are preventing cardiovascular disease. And if you are diabetic, you will take your medication regularly to reduce the blood sugar. Then we also talk about cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is with initial treatment. Primarily really focus on diet and lifestyle. As, as you can see, nutrients, I mean, nutrition is a very, very point. With our nutrition. Our nutrition is very, very vital in, in everything we do. So, we talk out for the primary treatment and intervention as the cardiovascular disease is concerned. Physical fitness is a state of health and well being. And most of the time, that for activities and physical fitness general through proper nutrition, moderate exercise, and sufficient rest. These are the components of physical fitness. Muscular. This is the ability to see the power that actually lead and carry those and carry every object. That is the power we exert, force we exert on a particular object to move it from one place to the other. Without muscle, the body will be weak. And unable to keep up with the demand or a consistent by training. We also talk about flexibility. Flexibility is one of the most important but often flexibility and joints. They are by most people. Flexibility of the entire room without students or pain. What part is the third one? The part, so the amount of part in the body system. Body part composition of fitness varies from male to female. That is, body part composition lower than. Something for the muscle are used for minutes. It can also be improved by training. That is. We do regular training. Can you fast fly in general? Can you do fast fly in general? Like running, swimming, jogging, and cycling. This form of fitness forces cardiovascular system. 
cut out lungs and heart to work for extended time. So let's quickly go to today's assignment. Today's assignment number one. Then, number two, what do you understand by the word stress? And what do you understand by the word to commit to my I'm going back to the assignment. I explained to you What is stress? What do you understand? And what is Thank you for I want to let us see. Let us address it to all the hygienic rules as prescribed by this. What do I have to do? Cover your nose. So, may God. Thank you so much.